So last week I posted a video of how Nelson accidentally put the icons of some new guns in the icons folder of Unturned's game files. Now there were actually five new guns revealed in that video and you can check them out in the description of this video if you haven't seen it, but as it turns out, Nelson didn't actually put those files in the folder accidentally. He he actually purposefully included the new guns in there to tease us. So uh, this week, as it turns out, he wasn't done with the whole adding of guns thing. So last week we had five new guns, a, a pistol, an assault rifle, a shotgun, an SMG, and a new minigun. Uh, this week, Nelson included even more icons in the icons folder, all pertaining to four brand new weapons in addition to last week's find. I'm not even joking. Four more. Th that nine new guns in total. Th like this Russia map will have a ton of new stuff and I just, I can't wait. So let's check it out. To start, let's check out the brand new submachine gun, the Calling Card. I think this is Unturned's first non-modern weapon. Well, maybe aside from the Schofield and the Hawkhound and stuff. So this explains the cool Calling Card name. It has sort of a 1940s mafia feel to it. I don't know why, but it's pretty cool. The Calling Card weapon is based off the Soviet PPSH-41, a magazine-fed fully automatic weapon that fires 762 by 25 millimeter Tokarev rounds. The PPSH was used throughout World War II and has a rate of fire of over a thousand rounds per minute. A thousand. Now, assuming all of this was all transferred over to Unturned, this would make the calling card the fastest firing submachine gun to date, or any sort of gun to date, and that's crazy. So, as a result, the magazine for this weapon isn't actually a magazine, it's a drum holding 60 rounds inside. 60 rounds for an SMG, not bad. Here are what the iron sights look like, by the way, pretty crappy. And that is about it. I mean, this is just really cool. Scrap the Bulldog as being the ultimate spray down machine because I think this gun takes the cake. Also, as a side note, econinfo.json, that little file in the unturned directory, contains the full names of all the weapons so far alongside every other item in the game. So as it turns out, the Fury from last week's video is actually called Hell's Fury. I think it's quite fitting, actually. <laughs> Next up, a new assault rifle, another addition to the Ranger Magazine family of weapons and Unturned's next three round burst weapon, the Fusilout or Fusilout. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but all I know is that I'm very excited for this. It's also another bullpup rifle right after last week's Augever. The Fusilout is based off the FAMAS, obviously, which is an acronym that stands for well, this. I'm I'm not going to try to speak French here, but translated, it means assault rifle from the Saint-Étienne Weapon Factory. Uh, it's a French bullpup assault rifle that fires 765 by 38 millimeter rounds at a rate of 900 rounds per minute and has the option of toggling between three round burst and fully automatic modes. Now, while this is a French rifle, once again, it still does take a Ranger magazine and or drum magazine. So this is once again hinting at making Ranger magazine weapons a direct competitor to military magazine weapons. By the way, here are the iron sights of the fusil out. Quite terrible. <laughs> uh, so as it currently stands, here is the military magazine weapons, and here are the ranger magazine weapons. So you see, they, they match it pretty well. And oh, what's that you see? The silhouette of another weapon. Well, would you look at that? It's the new Night Raider. Very exciting. This is another Ranger weapon. Uh, one that I'm imagining is a direct competitor to the Maple Strike and is based off the G36 rifle by Heckler & Koch. It is a German assault rifle actually currently in service today by a ton of countries and fires 5.56 rounds at a rate of 750 rounds per minute. In unturned, it is another Ranger magazine weapon, so it will take a Ranger drum magazine as well. And here are the iron sights. Probably the best so far, though I still feel like all the iron sights we've seen so far have been pretty bad. So putting a sight of sorts on these weapons is definitely needed. The Ranger magazine does look awfully funny on the Night Raider, with it being all curved like that, but it is the last weapon needed to make an equal amount of Ranger magazine weapons versus military magazine weapons, so that does sort of make makes sense. What, I mean, like, what do you guys think? I think this Night Raider is going to be somewhat similar to the Augever performance-wise. Uh, well, actually, <laughs> maybe not, because the AUG comes with a scope on it, so it might be more of a long-range weapon. I, I'm not sure, uh, but I feel like the Night Raider is going to be really good 
just like a nice all-around assault rifle because I mean that's how it usually is in other video games at least my thoughts I mean I don't know what are your thoughts uh, do you prefer or do you think you'll prefer the Augavair or the Night Raider so comment down below or vote on the poll card to decide and lastly I did see a lot of people commenting in last week's video about the lack of sniper rifles so hopefully this discovery will satisfy you the echo man <laughs> it's such a cool name just echo E-K-H-O, just, just boom, that's it. And to all you MLG quickscopers out there, you better go ask your mom to get the camera because yes, that is right. This new Echo sniper rifle is based off the Shaytac M200 Intervention sniper rifle, a bolt action sniper rifle that fires specialized 4 8 Shaytac rounds out of its seven round box magazine. Now many gamers became aware of this weapon because of its inclusion in Modern Warfare 2 in basically every single quickscoping montage ever. On YouTube so in unturned I doubt we'll be seeing the same aggressive plays with sniper rifles as we do in Call of Duty but it's still really really cool to see it added in unturned and as with all sniper rifles in unturned 3.0 they do not come spawned with a scope so for a little while you'll be looking through these iron sights it's actually not too bad at all really and now because it is bolt action has a seven round magazine and fires a round considered to be a competitor to the 338 Lapua Magnum round uh, which is the round that the Timberwolves real life counterpart fires uh, we I think we can expect the echo to be a direct ranger competitor to the Timberwolf in regards to statistics so with that in mind players without a helmet should be careful because I think the echo like the Timberwolf and Grizzly, will be another one-shot headshot weapon to unarmored players. And I think that pretty much wraps up everything regarding the new weapons that were sneakily included in the icons folder this week. And this gets me really excited, especially when you think of the number of guns that we're getting when this update is released. Nine guns, and that's just it so far. I mean, there very well might be more guns that are added next week into the icons folder. I have absolutely no idea, but as it currently stands, that is insane. Now, regarding this week's update, just, just this video in mind, which one is your favorite? And the more important question here, vote on the poll card to the side. I'd love to see your guys' responses. But anyway, that is all I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like Facebook is out. <laughs>